Okay, our next demonstration is of our onboarding functionality. So onboarding is really a place you can save some time. So one of the things that happens is when you have a candidate that gets hired, they move to the next status, which is really onboards. Okay, and so if we remember, Jim Anderson uh, was going through the process of being hired, um, and now Jim Anderson becomes an onboard. So if we take a look at this, what onboarding is really all about is getting the employee productive as fast as possible. And also automating as many processes as we can, because as many of you know, onboarding can be a time consuming task, especially if you're doing uh, paper documents and sign offs and those type of things. So let's take a look at what onboarding is all about. So if we take a look at Jim Anderson here and open this up, we can see here's Jim Anderson on board and he was hired uh, here as a customer service rep and so on. Uh, his manager is Jeff. Uh, this whole onboarding thing has been assigned to Daryl uh, in HR. And what the first thing that we do um, in working with an onboard is we actually assign a uh, task template. And these tasks are actually um, tasks within the um, portal here, the HR portal, but they can also be viewed by anybody coming in to uh, the My HR portal that is part of the task, the onboarding task team. So what we can see is a whole set of tasks here. Um, and this is not just HR tasks, this is IT tasks, this is facilities tasks, and so on. And we can assign these tasks to different people. And what we did is we actually went in and set up this onboard, and I'll show you in just a minute, um, from a task template um, for um, Jim Anderson, okay? And uh, so that's the first part of the onboarding is task tracking. So let's step back and take a look at how that was actually set up. If we go to onboarding here, we can see that we have a list um, here called standard tasks. And um, there is um, managing standard task onboards here. And the standard tasks uh, are really all about setting up task lists. Okay, here's apply standard task and applying them as a template to this. So you can see that we have several um, uh, ones. So here's the Jim Anderson onboard. We can select that. And then we can put in a category of tasks here. And so uh, Jim is actually part of the services. And so we would do the services on board and hit apply and it will actually then add that whole set of tasks to the Jim Anderson on board that's how we got there and it actually executes a job and copies tasks from standard uh, on board tasks this is managing uh, those and setting those up as a uh, template so that's how the task got there and you can actually go in and configure the onboard categories. These are the categories. And then you can actually manage the standard onboard tasks. So if we take a look at this, this is all the standard onboard tasks. You can see what type of um, category it is. And you can add tasks. You can assign people. Um, do all that. And it becomes a template. Okay. And so these are the ones here that were uh, assigned to Jim, which was the services. Where was the services ones? And service on board. Here we go. And these all uh, showed up under under Jim. So uh, in essence, you can set up a standard task list and be able to then apply it to the onboard of choice. Okay. And then what happens when those tasks get assigned, all the people that are assigned those tasks um, actually get emails, whether it's in IT or facilities or whatever it might be, setting up the office, setting up their um, user IDs and so on, and they can come in and manage the task through the onboarding staff uh, here as well. And that's through, again, the employee portal. But <coughs> most importantly, they get an email notifying them that they have been assigned this task uh, to. Now, we're also working um, on bringing this into Planner uh, in the future. And that will be something that we add to this. So that's one part of onboarding. Now, a second part of onboarding, and this is an option here, is um, actually automating some of the document signing. And this is where the um, options of DocuSign and Adobe Sign come in. 
And so what you can actually do is go in and set up what's called in, in DocuSign an envelope. And you can say Get Signatures. And you select this, and it actually sends a DocuSign to his personal email, and he signs those documents. And those documents actually come back into the onboarding documents here. And here we see the document, DocuSign, and it's brought back in after he signs. So that, that's the kind of really neat connection between DocuSign and SharePoint is that um, you can automate that whole process, then bring these in, review them, and then you can actually move them right into the employee documents when you're ready to. So that's a second automation here, and that is an option. The DocuSign um, is an option, and the Adobe Sign is an option. And what you do is you set up some standard documents uh, in those, and then it sends it out and asks the um, target, which would be Jim in this case, to sign those documents coming in. Now, there is actually a third way that you can do it, and this is the self-service way, and you may want to do a combination of both of these, um, and that is the new hire portal. We have a new hire portal that um, if you set Jim up with his um, ID up here, that you can then send him a link and say, go to our new hire portal. From there, Jim can actually put in some employee record data. Okay, So you set up the base employee record. He can add all the data that's appropriate for um, the employee to put in, address, co emergency contact information, much the same uh, information that employees can change from the employee portal. Um, if you're in the US, uh, you can actually list the benefit options here and uh, suggest which one, you know, which ones uh, uh, for what state or whatever they're in. Um, they can also, you can also go in and instead of using DocuSign, have them download the document templates uh, from here, sign them, uh, and they're usually in PDF form, and then be able to upload them right here as well. So that's another way of doing it. And of course, you can put in nice things like videos or a message from the CEO welcoming, welcoming them or something like that. This is all editable and even uh, link them to uh, you know employee orientation sign up or video or whatever you might have there. And even uh, as we saw with in, in other areas, you can even have um, employee ambassadors out here. Uh, not usually it's not your CEO, but they could go in and ask questions and do those type of things uh, here too. So um, multiple types of onboarding. Uh, you can have just simple onboarding with tasks um, and then send them to the the new hire portal. Um, you can use DocuSign and Adobe Sign to automate the documentation process. You can still use this portal if you wish. You just can hide this um, document templates capability there too. And um, as well, the nice thing is you can also manage all onboarding tasks. So here we have all onboards here. This is over in the, and I can see, you know, for each onboard, we only have one. I can see exactly where the, what the status is of all the tasks related to onboarding Jim. And you can also give access to the manager for that too.